Hello you fantastic people and welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. In this video I have a complete guide on the Mantis Blades. One, how to get legendary versions of them for free very early on in the game, as well as the four elemental variants you can collect throughout the game later on, including electrical damage, thermal damage, which is awesome, chemical damage, as well as the regular physical damage. Showing you guys how to get all of those, plus the extra mods to make them even more crazy. I'm going to show you guys complete locations and gameplay for you guys. Without wasting any time though, let's jump straight into it. If you guys didn't know, you can get entirely free Legendary Mantis Blades super early on in the game. You can purchase, I believe, the Blue Rarity Mantis Blades from Ripidox, but they cost like 25,000, so definitely don't do that. Instead, just go to this location to collect the Legendary free ones, which are way stronger as well. Essentially, you can get this super early on. You have to complete the campaign mission uh, all the way up to where you find Keanu Reeves' character. At the very start, no spoilers, as soon as he shows up though, finish that mission and you'll collect a side mission just after finishing that one called the cyber psycho sighting phantom of night city that one will show up you can track that one now you don't actually have to complete it because as soon as you see it you'll definitely see it says very hard difficulty don't have to do that whatsoever you just have to go to the location which is located in the city center corpo plaza area uh, if you just want to fast travel there the arasaka tower is the closest location and then from there just go to the left hand side you can track the mission if you want it's a really easy way to just find it essentially when you're in the area you'll see a giant yellow building with the number nine on it then you just want to go into the left hand side there's a really small door now there is a super powerful boss in there which if you're a lower level i think below 30 he is so damn strong and will likely one-shot you. So sneak in. You'll have to enter the building. And just on the right-hand side, there'll be a lootable box not too far from the door. So you can just sneak in there without the guy even noticing you if he's got his back turned or if he's a little further away. Just run in there. Grab everything in that box. There's actually quite a good uh, amount of loot in there. But the first one should be the Mantis Blades. Now, you might get a bug. I'm not sure if it's still a thing. When I originally picked it up, Mantis Blades didn't even show up in the list. I just collected all of them at once just said take all and then ran out of there bolted before i got taken out by the boss and went into my cyberware and it was in my inventory so it might not show up just take all and it'll definitely show up in your inventory all right now that you guys have got the free legendary mantis blades all you have to do is go to any ripper dock in the entire map and they'll be able to attach this ones to your hands for you and you'll be immediately be able to start using them regardless of your level uh, but now let's get into the good stuff the elemental variants these ones took a hot minute to track down for you guys but they are so well worth it starting off with the chemical one aka the poison one you can uh, locate this one in westbrook in japan town the ripper dock there at cherry blossom market there's actually a fast roll station literally called that one super close to the store so if you just want to use that once you get to the ripper dock she'll be able to sell you the chemical aka poison mantis blades it's only like a thousand dollars and a thousand fifty dollars i think Super cheap on, in terms of cyberware, which is really, really good. Uh, those will go in your inventory. You actually don't need to use the Ripper Dock to put them on. It's essentially a mod which you switch out uh, whichever elemental variant you want in your own inventory. Uh, you can also purchase, by the way, whilst you're at this one, if you're a high enough level and have enough money, you can purchase a Hamming 8 Rotor, or Rotor, sorry, uh, which is a legendary mod which goes on your Mantis Blades as well, which increases your attack speed by 45%, which is really good for taking out big groups of enemies or really strong enemies if you just want to do a uh, ton of series of attacks way, way quicker. Would recommend doing that if you can afford it. The poison ones, by the way, look amazing. To be honest, they all look really, really cool. But these ones are fully golden and just look really awesome in the game. Uh, they're really effective against individual enemies because they're melee weapons. But it also applies poison to enemies. So humans and pretty much any enemy, honestly, slowly gets taken down by the poison effects. Um, so if it's a little bit stronger, then that will come into effect. But usually Mantis Blades are that strong. Uh, the status effect doesn't matter because you take them out that quickly. Now, moving on to the Electrical Blades. If you guys want to locate these ones, it's in the city center in the downtown area. Over to the left-hand side, there's a fast roll station super close by called Skyline and Republic, if you want to use that one. Uh, it's super close to the water. The Ripper Dock's kind of by itself. Uh, you can purchase the Electrical Blades here as well as the Physical Blades. You can actually get both here. Uh, physical Blades are the standard ones that come in the Mantis Blades when you pick them up or purchase them, however you obtain them. Uh, that's a standard one, but by chance, if someone manages to disassemble them by accident, you can repurchase physical blades here as well. The physical damage ones do look really cool. They're fully red, not quite as cool as the other ones, but they do do a ton of damage as well. It's not an elemental variant, so it's not particularly effective against any one type of enemy. It's just 
blanket damage against all of them. And like I said, Mantis Blades are really, really strong. So you're only really using status effects against huge enemies or if you just want to watch the element do its thing, I guess. But if you're just attacking for trying to be efficient and take out enemies as quickly as possible, physical damage is also going to do quite well. The electric blades though, these ones I think are honestly my favorite, they're so cool. They're most effective against uh, robots, mechs, pretty much anything electronic, it will take out the fastest, that's what's elemental effectiveness is for but to be honest i just use these for everything because they just look so so cool they have the blue the lightning or electricity going through them and it just it's awesome now moving on to the thermal blades aka the fire mantis blades you can only purchase the blueprint for these and then craft them uh, if you want to purchase that one go to watson north side area there's a fast travel station super close to the ripper dock called pershing street i believe that's how you pronounce it go to the ripper dock there purchase a blueprint for it, a uh, blue rarity as well blueprint if that makes sense and then you'll have to actually craft it you can't actually buy the mantis blades anywhere for any of them i looked trust me uh, but you actually have to purchase one skill point for this to work it's a level one skill in the crafting tree called true craftsman which essentially allows you to uh, craft blue rarity items including the fire aka thermal mantis blades you can uh craft those ones using uncommon and common components which is super super cheap for such a um top tier item uh, but once you've crafted those those will um, go to your cyberware inventory as well just go to cyberware mantis blades and then attach your thermal mantis blades as well those things are amazing and as you probably guessed they're most effective against humans or any flesh enemies because it will burn them and it's really really cool now that's not to say it's not going to absolutely destroy and set fire to all of the mechs and the drones and all of that good stuff it definitely does and it's really fun to do so i would highly recommend getting these ones as well they are super rare to find though because no one i could find on the internet knew where these were so it took me a hot minute to get these ones for you guys all the gameplay you guys are seeing by the way in this video is using a build that has absolutely zero points spent into melee damage so this is just base any build will be able to obtain this much damage from mantis blades and you can do way more if you want to spec into it even more uh extra mods i would recommend i'm just going to tag on here at the end uh to make these things incredible and i just generally use them for my build anyway not even just for mantis blades an operating system mod is so good it's called berserk mode or berserk mod it's really really strong you just press whatever button it is for console or on keyboard i believe it's e and you essentially go berserk you get a bonus 10 or 15 percent armor and resistance but more importantly the melee damage is increased by 10 percent and the best part is you guys can find those loot those purchase those at any level i originally started off with a common rarity one when i was super low level i'm now on a blue rarity one and i have seen a legendary version i don't think i'm high enough level to purchase it yet but that one you'll be able to purchase later on so you can keep upgrading but on top of that you can purchase a mod which attaches to this operating system mod already mods on mods to do increase 100 percent melee damage this thing is incredible it's called the beast mode mod i found that that one from a random enemy do let me know if you guys know the location for that one in the comment section down below i'm sure other people would love to know that one uh, but i couldn't find it and i just found it randomly in the world so let me know if you guys do know the location but that one increases melee damage by 100 percent your armor and resistance go resistance goes up another 15 and it's ridiculous i would highly recommend doing that one for honestly any build or if you just want to increase your melee build like crazy you're definitely going to want that ability and that is my complete guide on the mantis blades inside of cyberpunk 2077 all the elemental variants how to get the free legendary set and extra mods to make them super op if you guys did find this video helpful or enjoyable don't forget to smash subscribe down below it's totally free helps me out a ton and i really do appreciate it other than that we have a discord link down below if you guys find any hidden legendaries cool things easter eggs all that stuff in cyberpunk there's a heap of it let me know on discord i would love to hear it i'm sure other people in there as well would love to see it other than that hope you guys have a fantastic day i'll see you guys next video and a live stream till then adios